Uh, rocket is full of the liquid hydrogen and the liquid oxygen. It's topped off. It's ready to go. There have been zero technical issues all day long. Those are four massive lightning rod towers that surround the launch pad to attract lightning just in case there was lightning in the area. But right now, there is no lightning within 10 or 15 miles. So right now, we're looking good. They're about to send it up. We're about 18 seconds away. Let's listen to NASA TV. Fifteen. T minus fifteen seconds, standing by for terminal count. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with LRO Elfrost, America's first step of a lasting return to the moon. RD-180 is operating well. Pump speeds are stable. Air compressions look good. Bus and battery voltage is stable. Tank pressures look good. RD-180 is continuing operating well. sight from Kennedy Space Center in Florida as the rocket heads up to the moon. Phil, this mission will take a while, huh? Yeah, four days for the two uh, important pieces of the payload to get to the moon. One is the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is going to be a satellite that maps in great detail the moon. The best maps we have of the lunar surface right now go back to the early 70s with the Apollo program. And what these maps will provide are great landing opportunity sites for NASA for the year 2020 if, in fact, we do return humans to the moon. The second element is the L-Cross. That's a lunar crater observation and sensing satellite that will actually make impact after it does many Earth orbits 110 days from now. That will be October 9th. That will send in the remaining second stage of the rocket, spent of all fuel, but use it as basic a kinetic energy impact bomb to then slam into the lunar surface, create a plume of lunar dirt dust, and then the reaction will be recorded for four minutes by the secondary satellite to see if there's any evidence that scientists here on the ground of planet Earth would suspect to see if, in fact, there were some sort of water ice buried beneath the lunar surface yet. Well, we'll find out soon enough as that Atlas V heads toward the heavens and next stop, the moon. It's been 40 years, so you wonder if when they get this rover out there, if they'll look for the one that was supposedly left up there 40 years ago. I seem to remember my grandmother not too entirely sure that that had really happened. There was some talk of a Hollywood set somewhere, but if they find it now, Nana's fears will be set aside. Forty years since man went to the moon, and by 2010 we could be there again. It's the first time we've sent a rocket there in ten years. The space program rolls on, and we'll have complete coverage tonight on the Fox Report, 6 o'clock Central Time, and we'll follow this mission all the way through.